Hello friends and welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at tagged template literals uh, and how they're used within Polymer 3 and Lit HTML. Now let's start with template literals without the tag first of all. So these are strings that use the backticks rather than a single quote or a double quote. Um, they, they let you have multiple line strings and they let you use string interpolation uh, to build a string rather than having to construct it with uh, string plus and plus and string. You can simply use the dollar sign and open and close parentheses um, and have your uh, variables interpolated uh, like that. Now, when we get on to the the tag. The tag is what we see in um, Polymer where you've got HTML written um, just before your template literal and that that is a, simply a function uh, that gets called and it will get passed in the strings from your literal and all of the values from your literal. So it takes two parameters and it allows you to return a result. Now by by default uh, the the language itself will return the constructed string in order but you can override this and provide any function that you like so there's various uses for this one of the most interesting at the moment I see is with lit HTML and, and their ability then to process this uh, template literal and store it as a template and the values and, and cache this um, so it's for, for building your web component, it's, it's a great way for getting uh, the, the templating in there and the speed uh, and the developer experience as well. Uh, best thing, I've got Visual Studio open here. Let's jump in and we'll have a look at some examples. Okay, we've got Visual Studio code here. We'll start by just creating a template literal rather than a tag one. Uh, so let's do let demo equals template literal. It needs to be in backticks, we'll see. Template literal. Uh, and if I just use Quacker to show that we can see uh, the value of the demo uh, variable coming here is template literal. Um, so we can see with template literals, you can have them on different lines, um, multi-line string there, so that doesn't make any difference at all to it. And we can do interpolation, so let's say let, um, let extra, no, let's say let int equals um, demo and we can just add that in here with the dollar and curly parentheses. So now we've got um, template literal demo down here. So that demo string is being added in uh, this position here. So let's just put it back to a single line so we can see that. Now to convert this into a tagged template literal, we would add um, a tag on the front here. Now in Polymer, you can see it's got this HTML tag there. Now all this refers to is simply uh, a function that takes a couple of parameters, which we'll add in a second, uh, and returns the um, processed output string. So whatever you want to return. So if we just hard coded something, you can see now, our demo uh, is not being set to, to this uh, template literal, it's actually being set to the value returned from our tag function. So what you want to do in that tag function is operate on the parameters being passed in. So it accepts um, a strings parameter and also a values parameter um, which we can use the spread operator on there. Now, let's have a look at what the strings parameter gets us. We, strangely enough, we get two strings. Rather than just getting this string here, 
in the strings and then this value in the values strings actually has two entries in its array it's got template literal and then it's got a blank string for where the value um, should be inserted uh, we look at values as well we'll see it's just got the single value there of a demo so by default um, the template literal is um, iterating over these and adding in the value uh, into each of these um, empty slots on strings uh, so we can we can mimic that if we do uh, strings dot for each Oops. which uh, gives us a current and an index which we can then look at in here what we can do is construct our string so let's have a result and in here we'll look at each uh, element of the array and we'll say result is the current plus the values and the index that we're on and then instead of returning HTML let's return that result so down here now we can see we're getting template literal demo we have also got this undefined on the end and that is because we're always getting one more string than there are values um, so we can simply get around that by putting a blank uh, string when uh, we've got no more values left so we can see down here now we're getting our template literal and the demo variable interpolated in there so that is what your tagged uh, template function is uh, doing for you now with um, with polymer 3 it has this HTML function is it actually returns rather than just a string it returns a template result um, which contains a template and a set of values and that result is what we pass into the render function and the render function does its magic on that data it, it, so it can cache the template and it can use the values part to to look at which bits need to be updated when one of your um, one of your variables is updated on your object uh, so yeah there you go that is tagged template literals um, and and how um, Polymer 3 uses those to, to good effect. I uh, hope that was useful. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.